Good day, welcome to my video. Now, if you're having a, a situation where you have absolutely no sound with your Novation Launch K25 keyboard, that's a whole different issue. So you need to go and check out my other video on, on the setup process. Check that out if you have absolutely no sound. Um, a lot of people have had, had trouble with that. The other issue is, is that people are telling me that they don't understand velocity or why is their keyboard so quiet? Uh, no matter how hard they hit the key, it's supposed to be sensitive and it's supposed to be louder the harder you hit the key. So I'm going to address that. So basically I'm in my, uh, I open up FL Studio, I'm going to open up the uh, DX10 and that just uh, doesn't matter what in instrument, uh, some sort of keyboard is good. So I'm going to move that out of the way, that's just so we have the proper sound here going. And the next thing you want to do is go up to your options, go to the MIDI settings, open up that, and go down to this line, link note on velocity. Click on here, and it brings up the velocity mapping window. So basically, if I'm hitting the key, you can see there's a vertical line here. That represents how hard I'm hitting the keyboard key. And all you need to do, like on the very most basic, simple terms, put your mouse over here, left click, and drag this up. And so now, this is kind of, it's kind of like the, it's the velocity and the volume sort of, uh, you know, it's, it's intermixed. So now it's going to be much louder. See the vertical line here because it's much higher up on here. So I press about the same and it's way louder and I'll just keep pressing about the same. It gets very loud. Okay. So that's the, that's the basic concept. Now it does get interesting because you may have a certain type of playing style. And what you can also do, take your mouse and right click anywhere on the line, say, and it's going to bring up some extra points. And what you could do, once you click on it, then you uh, left, once you right click and then you can left click and then drag this up and you can instantly make the volume go up. It's a very soft hit on the key and I'm already up on a nice volume. And then, I don't know why you do this, say you do a right click here, put another point of reference in, and then you could actually drag it way down. Do something like this. I'm gonna put another point in, another right click on the mouse. Just so I can make this kind of like silly like. So you could press very soft and it's pretty loud. And then if you press really hard, it'd be quiet. See the vertical line? I'm, I'm pressing actually quite hard, hitting it hard, but it's quiet. So that's how this whole thing works. So do some fooling around with that. It's pretty, uh, pretty interesting. The other thing that you could do, let's go, let's just close this. Uh, sorry, and then go back in, but change, instead of having velocity, you could select it to none and click on here. You don't really have to do anything at this point because it's set on none. So but I'm just going to demonstrate no matter how hard I'm hitting the key. See this line represents how hard I'm hitting the key. So I'm not hitting it very hard. It's almost low, like near zero. And if I hit it really hard, it moves over here the volume still the same. So it just maintains just a constant preset volume. So that might be of interest to you also. Um, I want to keep the video simple and short. So I hope this gets you rolling, gets you started. As I said, uh, please like and subscribe and check out my other video if you're having an issue where there's absolutely no sound. I don't want this video to be long. I just made it short and simple. This was a question I had received in the comments and I hope this is addresses uh, this issue and helps out that person. So please like, subscribe. If you subscribe, you'll get updates when I new, do uh, new videos about this, uh, different aspects. And uh, yeah, come on back. Join the club. Thank you. Have a great day.